I like to speak to a lot of different languages through painting, and by that I mean like a linear comic flat form almost versus a architectural element or a or even a verbal communication like a typography or a uh, word even. I have a big interest in uh, popular culture and advertising, uh, mass media, all sorts of logos, um, cartoon, comic, interests like that that appeal to the general public. Uh, I grew up reading comic books and um, you know just noticing even driving around in the city you'll notice billboards, signs, a hundred different advertisements on your way from point A to point B. Um, when I began to intentionally really start thinking about what I was putting together in it, I started developing a system of, of filing images I would find in, under different categories so that I could pick and choose from a, from a lexicon of images I had collected over time. Books of things I've clipped out of magazines, papers, comics, uh, advertisements I've found that I've clipped and saved and filed away under different classifications so that I can pick and choose from them as I wish now. When I start a work, usually it's a little of both visualizing a final product and allowing the work to dictate itself. Um, it's both very additive and subtractive. You know, I'll go through and layer something on top of something else and then decide it's not working and pull it out or, or paint right over it. You know, so in a lot of ways, it's a push and pull, a give and take. I can't wait till tomorrow. We gotta settle it today. Leave our egos at the door. Get down to the I guess I hope more than anything it's somewhat universal that anyone can, anyone, even if you don't have an art history degree or are a great scholar in some way, you can, you can, you can find interest in it, that it speaks to you, that, that it shows something that you've grown up with or seen throughout your life that you can take away on your own level, not necessarily what I'm trying to say or do, you know, in a way I like to be removed from the piece. It's, once it's done, I'm, I feel, I don't want to say a disconnect from it because that's, that's kind of impossible, I guess, for a creator to say if something is created, but um, by the time it's finished, I, I, I'm open to debate of what, what it means. You know, I don't, I don't try and label too much meaning on it. It's a big old world. We got a lot of love to make, so we go in. Yeah, I think a lot of people would love to make a career as a professional artist in Nashville. Um, there's a hard line you have to draw between being able to do your work that you want to do and having the freedom to be an artist and making a living, you know, there's a, it's a hard art market in Nashville at times. Um, you have to balance the idea of trying to make something for an audience versus making something for yourself. If you're not making work that interests you, that are things you find interesting, then ultimately you're not going to be making work. If you're trying to please an audience or, a, or get a sale, by the time all that's said and done, you uh, you won't be interested in the work you're making. It becomes a mechanical process at that point. Right now, I would say I'm trying to push it a little further than uh, simple, flat, two-dimensional paintings that have been um, getting a little more into surface textures. Um, even playing with a new series now that involves uh, some Christmas lights being in the painting, so um, I'd like to push it as far as I can, as far as I financially am able.